Hey folks, we're taking an iconic fast food burger, the Big Mac, to a whole different level cowboy style. More meat, more special sauce, and on the grill. Hey, come on, I'll get the fire hot for you. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get me something to eat that I didn't have to cook. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I need a Big Mac, just a sandwich and a, a large iced tea. And I need some- Six-piece chicken nugget. A six-piece chicken McNugget for my Beagle and my Duke. She doesn't know who Beagle and Duke are. That's some, hey, she ain't watched YouTube long <laughs> enough or she'd know who the Beagle and Duke is. <laughs> And if they have learned that you go to McDonald's and you don't bring them something home, they about to tar us off a pickup truck. The Big Mac, their version. There it is. This is for research. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the backyard for another episode of Cowboy Cooking. What we do in here, hey, we're going to show you how to do some grilling. We're going to show you how to cook in a Dutch oven with coals. I mean, everything you need to go outside and let's do some great cooking. But hey, if you're a new viewer, I want to just tell you right now, reach up there and hit that subscribe button because I don't want you to miss out on none of these great recipes and tips and tricks and techniques that we're going to show you how to cook outside. The iconic sandwich from McDonald's, the Big Mac, made its debut 1968. Some of you might not have been around then. <laughs> hey, I was, but I didn't get one till long about 1978 because there wasn't a McDonald's nowhere near us. But now these things are served all over the world. You can get a Big Mac nearly anywhere. But folks, you know the cowboy. We're going to jazz this thing up a little and we're going to make our own version of this Big Mac, but still keep it pretty traditionally. Now, first thing we're going to look at is sesame seed bun. Who doesn't like a sesame seed bun? I really do. And you know, they got that special sauce. But look here, toasted bun. We're going to do that. Now, this is a little thing that we may have to change. <laughs> This is called a patty of meat. They claim it weighs one eighth of a pound, but I did some research, that's two ounces. So if you're talking about two of them and you do the math, help me out here, Andy, cause I know you will, that's four ounces. That still ain't a half a pound. Folks, we're gonna change that up today and we're gonna load this rascal up with some beef. I didn't realize how small those were until you like actually take them out. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can nearly see through them, I can. So here we get down to their special sauce in here. Lettuce, onions, some pickles. But folks, we have jazzed their special sauce up. Me and the big put a lot of hours of research into what McDonald's puts in theirs and we have changed it just a little. Toasted bun, more special sauce right down through there, ready to go. So. We have got it deconstructed. Now it is time to construct it, but we're gonna do it cowboy style. So let's get things to going. Now, the first thing we need to do is assemble this special sauce that goes on this special burger. Now, I looked at theirs and I tasted theirs and I tried theirs, but hey, I'm gonna tune it up just a little. Now, sure, we gotta have that sweet relish. They got that in there. You gotta have some diced onion. They got that in there. You gotta have a little mustard in there. Ooh, we're gonna have some of that. But guess what? We're going to add a little bit of that chipotle pepper adobo sauce in there to give it a little kick. Now, remember, folks, when you put that apple cider vinegar, don't forget that teaspoon of sugar. It's sort of going to mellow things out there. And it needs to set in the ice box about two hours. Stir it all up, set it in there to blend all them flavors together. Now, you remember that little jingle they had? They said, two all beef patties, special sauce, pickles, lettuce, cheese on a sesame seed bun. Well, folks, let's talk about two patties. Now, this is what you call two patties of meat. Shan was telling me when I was putting all this together, you think you can get that eat? Oh, I can get this eat. This is 80-20 certified Angus beef, and we're gonna start with, what is this? A half a pound and a half a pound. Whoa. You know how much that is in mathematicals? That is eight ounces. Now remember that two ounces we had there a while ago? They is a lot of difference, folk. Sure, we're gonna have a little shrinkage, but not that much. 
And when you season a burger that you're going to cook on the grill, do it when you get it ready to throw on the grill. Don't be doing it before because if it's a processed meat, you're going to dry that meat out by doing that if you season it and then just let it set. So be sure you season both sides and give it a little pat what there. What are you using? What am I using? The All-American Red River Ranch Original Seasoning. That's what everybody should use. Thank you for the infomercial. You can get it at www.kentrollins.com. Thank you. So the Hasty Bake is fired up. We're going to put these on there and let the fun commence. So come on over. Well, hot and ready to go it is. So let's lay that first one on there. And there went something in the Oklahoma breeze. Lay that other one on there. Now, I'm gonna cheat this a little. You don't have to at times, but hey, we're gonna cook these three and a half to four minutes aside, but I'm gonna trap a little of that heat in there, make them cook just a little bit faster. So, let's talk about a few grilling tips we got going on here. First of all, make sure that that grill is cleaned, make sure it is old, and make sure it is hot. How do you know how hot? Remember, you're putting your hand down there close to that grill. Can you hold it more than five seconds? It's probably not hot enough if we're grilling burgers. This is different than an indirect heat. We got them cold scattered plum out to where it's covering the whole grate, the whole grill itself, because we want it to be hot when we're grilling them burgers. Well, we've been on about four this side we have, and I want to show you something. You can see with that lid shut, you're going to get a sweating action here, and things are going to begin to glisten, and things are going to rise to the top. See that there blood that's coming out of there and see this in here bubbling? I think we can go ahead and do this right here and look, it is pretty close to what I'm after. Now remember, if you're doing this in the house and you're doing it McDonald's style, when you throw that burger in there, you go get your 60 pound anvil, put your spatula out there, lay the anvil on the spatula and flatten the meat. Now when you're cooking burgers, I don't like to mash them because when you're mashing them, what's happening? You mashing all that good flavor and juice out of them and then you get something that's dry that you can hold up and see the sun through. We ain't gonna do that. Do not mash your burger, okay? Now, folks, you always be hearing them folks saying you can't be flipping your burger just like you can't be turning your steak here, there, and yonder just one time. No, you can check that burger. You can flip it. You ain't gonna hurt it. Just remember, don't mash it. I need to look at it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna flip it. We are getting oh so close if I can see it for the smoke. But don't be afraid to flip that burger, but don't flip it out there in the ocean somewhere. Now, folks, when I'm cooking a burger, and me and Shan and she even does it too, I like to be having a little fire, so I'm gonna let her down just a little. But just take that spatula, we ain't mashing, I just want you to push. And you can see just a little of that clear liquid come back to the top. That's what you call a just right burger. So I'm gonna take them, set them right over here where they ain't hardly no coals. Get these sesame seed buns ready to go in there and get toasted. Well, we got them over here to one side and remember, we was watching that when we deconstructed that Big Mac and they was toasted buns. All except that middle one wasn't toasted on both sides. And how do you make the middle one? Well, folks, you get that really good bread knife and you just cut the top off one of them buns to where you have what? A middle bun, yeah, that's how you do it. So let's get them on this grill. We're gonna give them a little toasting, but also they're gonna get a little smoke flavoring at the same time. And it won't take long as hot as that is. But remember that one that's cut on both sides, we got to toast him on both sides. Well, we got them all cooked up. We got our little buns nicely toasted, we did, and folks, this is where it comes to the assembly line. And things are blowing around. If y'all think the glaring here, there, and yonder, it ain't lightning. Not so the assembly line is fixing to start. And this is one of the most important things when you're reconstructing the deconstructed Big Mac. That's a lot of words for me. So what is it first? It is some of this special sauce. On which one of them buns, Shan? I'm so confused. It is the one that is called the bottom. Now, I like to just go ahead Get me enough on there that I can taste. And folks, this here stuff is so good, you're gonna be wanting to put it on your hot dogs and everything you got. You're gonna to wanna to make it all summer long. What is next? Some finely chopped lettuce. Yep, just like the Big Mac. So we just scatter them out right peaceful like. 
And one thing I would have done different if it was me, I'd have put the cheese on maybe the bottom, but no. And they use that American cheese. Folks, we're going to use us some cheddar. And I'm going to trim it to fit, which is there. And I have these two cheese dogs right here that will help me out. Thank you all very much. <laughs> now, when you get to this point, guess what? That's what a lot of people would call just enough stuff to put on their burger. But ha, uh -uh. we got to have a burger to put on there. So here we go. There is that. So we are ready to go ahead with the middle bun. That is the one that we cut the top off of the top bun. So we got to have some more of that there special sauce to get ready to go back here. Make sure you got plenty. And then guess what? It is time for some more lettuce. Guess what comes after that? They don't call for it, but old Kent's going to put it on there, you know. That is some extra piece of cheese. Ooh. And then you got two left for the cheese inspectors. There you go. So you can see we have nearly got there. It is time for what? That is what you call a burger, folks, and we're nearly there. Then we're going to go ahead and take us some more of that special sauce right here on the top. And pickles. And we're going to have to have some pickles for Shan because she do love a pickle. Now me, I would not be putting a pickle on it, but hey, we're trying to keep it authentic. Last one. And guess what we do now, Shan? <laughs> we give it a little mash. Now folks, I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut this in half because I want to see all of them flavors. Well, can y'all see the difference here? I mean, even if, you, if you're standing away away from the camera, can you see the difference here? Let me, let me get down here. Yep, I can see the difference when you get them here. Now, this is a Big Mac, McDonald's style. This is a Big Mac, cowboy style. You even gotta have a muscle to hold this one up. Now, I wanna tell you, when you make that sauce and it does make extra, Folks, you're going to love this stuff. Just go ahead and seal it back up. Put it on your sandwiches, your hot dogs, more burgers. Dip your french fries in it, whatever you got to do. But it is going to be some fine dining. I would like to do this. I would. And I think we should take a peek in there. And then we're going to do this. It's so little. <laughs> now, folks... Don't get me wrong, I have eaten my share of them through the years rodeoing and riding bulls. It was one of the places that we stopped. But hey, they're an old iconic restaurant that's still in business, still doing great things. But when you could have one of these, why pull up to the drive up window and have one of them? So here we go, Dookie. Mm. Does it taste like a Big Mac? It tastes so much better than a Whoa. Big Mac. <clears throat> We're going to do the Ronald McDonald Shuffle. <laughs> the Golden Arches. Aha! Uh -huh. Ain't no Hardee's, nor is it a Mackey D's. There ain't no drive-up window and a menu you won't see. But what you will see is good, fine dining. Folks, the star of the show, hey, I love some beef. But the star of the show today, the Cowboys special sauce with that chipotle pepper and adobo sauce mixed in there, kicks it all up to a brand new level. But as always, I tip my hat and I thank you to all our American service men and women and all the veterans and all the people who keep our country safe for letting that old flag fly with freedom. We appreciate it one and all, we do. But also, have some special shout outs this week. Big's girlfriend, he's been getting love letters in the mail from Molly the Muncher. Yeah, I think they're hitting it off, would make a good team. Might not have enough food to feed them all, but hey, it'll be good. And also a friend of mine up there in Canada, John Tom. Hey, stay warm up there on the northern side, my friend. It is gonna be warming up soon. And remember, it is a cowboy version of a Big Mac, and I'll see you down the Big Mac Trail. God bless you each and every one. Hey, we're taking a... <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe a trip to Taiwanese. I don't know. Woo, here we go. Beak says, this is what happens to an empty Big Mac box. I think it's gone, Beak, I really do. Uh, if we can make it home without eating it, we'll be in pretty good shape. Oh, look what that's got here. Oh, 
Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, good job! <laughs> good job! Chicken nuggets! <laughs> Chicken nuggets! One up, white, you over here. Good job, Duke! That's impressive. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. There you go. Okay, last one. It's slow down! Maybe we need to do a chicken nugget video.